travels the world, brings to us delicious foods that are made from scratch, but that are grab and go and that are perfect. Nice to have you back on I'm the show, glad Coach. To be back, Marlo. You know. I you said I've been working on a food truck a couple of days. And you know, you've been come a, out of retirement. Yeah, you you've think? been a foodie all your life. And, all and my this... life, Raven County on the food truck. <laughs> well, Coach Joe is bringing to us our tamales. And we are so thrilled. They're brand new. First time airing here at HSN. They are authentic tamales, by the way. So we want to just mention that to you right out the gate. Yeah, gonna... They are wrapped in the corn husk, just like your traditional tamales are. You're going to get a set of six of them. We have both single ship and auto ship available for you and they're $39.95 with free shipping mm. the best way to prepare them is exactly what the coach is doing that's right you'll be able to steam them but I first want you to look in the front coach because you brought to us a couple of different choices I did. all right I so did. let's go over them for you so that you'll be able to make a decision by the way you'll have these in your home by the end of the week so there is a pork tamale choice pork tamale we have a poblano corn which is our newest one a beef tamale, a jalapeno and cheese tamale, Yum. and a chicken tamale. And a tamale. chicken choice. Now, let's get down to it now. Yes. These got a little steamed a little bit too much, but that's a good thing because we want I'm you going to try. In. This is our newest one. Okay, and Le, this one is? Poblano corn and cheese. Poblano corn and cheese. Yeah, now, now it's for made, some, a ahead. tamale is, is a dough made with a with corn called a masa. Mm. Now the key to it is you don't want your moss too thick. Okay. And if you can look at it, that we have it more so filling good. than we have moss. Okay. And you see how nice our, our husk is, real tight and stuff, mm -hmm. it's not greasy. But you go ahead and taste that right All now. Right. It's, it's, little, it's, it, it's it, it definitely hot. Messy, but look, can, but you, can you guys see the cheese? You go right I don't know ahead. if you can see that melted cheese and, and the yeah. jalapeno that's in this one. Okay, it smells so good. So we do, if you're, if, if you, we have the chicken, pork, and beef. Right. And then we have the jalapeno and cheese, and, and we the have poblano. the poblano. Right. And the so those are going to be your choices. would be for your vegetarian options. Um, that way we want to make sure we capture. Oh my gosh. Talk to me, Marlo, now. Mm. I'm just, I just want everybody to see what she's doing over here. <laughs> now, it so, got a little steam, but that's all right because it's so good. So nice and creamy. Right. But full of delicious flavors. You can taste, of course, the corn. Yeah. Now, this one has just a little bit of a bite to it. Right, just a little at the end. Yeah, just okay? at the end, not, not. So you have poblano peppers, corn, and cheese. Oh, it's so delicious. If you can see the poblano peppers here, and now we're gonna break out another pepper one. This is jalapeno peppers. Okay. Mm. All right, Marlo, now let's move on now. We gotta stick and move now. And I wanna remind you that Cinco de Mayo is May 5th. Coming up soon, so you so need to go ahead and get them. So it's coming up in less than three weeks. Right, okay. And what's great is that we can send these to you immediately. Now, when we get these at home, what's the best way to be able to store them? Yeah, and I know the best way to, to, to eat them, I mean, to prepare them is to steam them. What's, steam them. What's the best way to, to, to um, when we get them at home in another week When you week get them at so? home, they'll come frozen. Okay. And all you want to do is do like we're doing here and get a steamer or put some water in the bottom of a pan okay. and just steam them. And for how long? Give us an idea. Maybe 20, 30 minutes just okay. till it gets soft. Nice. You just want the moss to get in. And so this one happens to be, what choice is this one? This is jalapeno and cheese. Okay, jalapeno and cheese. Yes, just, yes. All right, I'm gonna go in for this one. You gotta go in, Marlo. Wow. Now this one, has a little bit more of a tangy taste to it. Right. Because and of the jalapeno. The pepper. Yeah, we got two and different I would, peppers. And I would say that the jalapeno naturally is gonna be a lot more spicier it will. than the poblano. So yeah. But we got a little something for everybody. So if you don't mind a little bit of a kick to your right, food, right. then go for the jalapeno and cheese, but it's definitely and spicy. that's one of our favorite biggest sellers. Yes, I, li I personally like spicy, so I like the jalapeno and cheese. Okay. But if you want a little bit more of a milder taste, go for the poblano corn and cheese. And All then right. we do have the beef, your pork, and your chicken. And we're going to try those now. now. Remember, you're getting a total of six of these. So you cheese. decide which one you'd like now, to have. we want you to see how much Let's chicken is in there. We got nice chicken breast chunks okay. in there. Thing. So we got you, more meat that. and chicken than we do anything and else. And I, I love that you can see all of the different seasonings in this one. So right. this is chicken this blended is chicken. with what else? This is tomatilla and sereno sauce. Okay. You know, when you go to a restaurant and you get the green sauce or the red sauce, this is the green sauce because that's what you pair best with 
beef, chicken, and pork. And we don't eat the, the, the corn husk, right? No, you steam the them corn and then you just, just protect just it, protect it and keeps Correct. everything cold. Right, right. When we do festival sometimes, we have it on the grill so here's what, and a smoker. So here's what's great about it, right? Uh, I think on Cinco de Mayo, we all celebrate Cinco de Mayo, right? Which is a wonderful Mexican holiday. Um, and, and Cinco de Mayo is actually celebrated in the United States and in Mexico. Right. Um, I don't know how to prepare authentic Mexican <laughs> dishes, but I love Mexican foods. Well, so I love that you've done all the work we're for gonna us. We're going to take care of that for you. And I'm going to tell you now. Wow. We're getting ready to. OK. I just want you to talk to me, That's Marlo. the chicken choice. That is pretty amazing. Well, you got a lot so, of chicken. And see how thin the moss is? It's I, not too thick, but it's moist. I will say, though, I still taste a little bit of a spite, a little bit of a kick, in, even in the chicken. Well, it's the sauce. It's the tomatillo and serrano sauce. So it's a little... It's a little kick, It's got a little hot. bit of a kick to right, it. But it. So I just want best, you to know that. But it blends That chicken is delicious. Chicken. Okay, okay well. so we've got single ditches, single ditches in each choice. So the most popular is the jalapeno and cheese. <laughs> really, guys? So you guys, now remember that jalapeno and cheese is delicious, but it, it, it is spicy. That chicken was amazing. I believe you like that chicken, Mom. I love don't the... you cut my arm off now. I'm sorry. So I'm going to keep tasting them. I don't want you to take so that the knife beef, and cut the, me the off. beef is also very popular no, is, as well. this is smoke. Pull pork. Now, Ooh, I'm so opening that up. I just want up. you to open that up and see that smoke I'm telling in there. You know what's, now I don't know what's involved in you got preparing four something. four ounces of pork in that thing now. Check yeah. it out. Yeah, and I love that it's a lot of meat in the inside. Right. And when you look closely, I mean, you can see. Tell me about some of the spices that I'm seeing here. The same tomatillo and sereno sauce, but I want you to look real close right here, Marlo. You see that little pink ring yes, right there? Yes, yes. That's a, for a barbecue guy. They know that's smoked pork because you can't get pork to look like that unless you smoke it. So you got to smoke it. You have to smoke it first, which it takes a long well, it's time. It's Coach Joe's smoked pulled pork we have right now. <laughs> okay. So we need the same ingredients. Same ingredients. Wow, that does. Isn't that good? Now that really has a wonderful flavor because now you've got the smoke flavors blended in, which makes it even more interesting, I think. To all of them that I've tried taste delicious. They all have a little bit of a kick to them. So I yes. just want everyone to know that because I don't want you to get them at home and you're like, oh no, that's a little too spicy for me. I don't think so. They'll be happy. They're not too, I mean, the if you're going to buy the jalapeno and cheese, that one definitely has the most heat. But they all have a little bit of spice. I'm going to order these for myself. I would certainly love to serve these when I'm entertaining. They're really Ooh. delicious. Easy to no. prepare because all the work has been done for you. All right, check it out, Marlo. Steam them for 20 minutes. Um, if you'd like to have them, they're all limited. And let me go over your choices for you really quickly. Your choices are pork, poblano corn and cheese. Your beef tamales are very popular. If you want to have those, don't wait. The jalapeno and cheese is the number one fastest selling. So if you'd like to have that one, call us right away. And then don't sleep on that chicken. That is <laughs> incredible. And we also have single ship where we can ship it to you right away. And we have auto ship as well. I believe you like that pork, Marlo. Now dig into that beef. Okay, I'm going to open this one I'll up. Open really it up. Quickly. You got to open it up now. We want to open it up. See it. And again, look and at how look much. At the meat. Look at the look meat at that, that you're meat getting. In there now. I'm telling you. So if you've got a, a hefty appetite. I just, want to, I just want everybody to see the beef. You, so we call it a beef tamale. So we making sure we let you know what's you get. You get right plenty, plenty of protein, really ample so amount of the beef, think, which is great. I'm gonna go in and he's- Go in now, go in. And you, would you serve this with any type of side? Oh like yes, I, I was so excited. I forgot you can have some avocado. Oh. With I love top. them all. Well, that's, we give everybody their own flavor. We have two what? vegetarian options. You can't go and two wrong. two meat options. So really, if a person doesn't eat meat, they can have the vegetarian. Or if you don't eat beef, you what? can have chicken. I am going to order these. I, I will tell you that I've had a tamale um, before, mm -hmm. um, but only when I get a chance to go out to right. uh, like a nice Mexican restaurant. Right. But I love the idea that I can pull these right out of my freezer and prepare these anytime. Just like this. Just All like right. This. So we've got to wrap the, our presentation up on these. This is brand new. Setting you up for success for Cinco de Mayo. Don't forget, it's going to be coming up on May 5th. We can get these out to you as an immediate shipment, and you'll have them by the end of the week, or you can get them on auto ship. If you want something super delicious, try these. Coach Joe, you've done it again. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. very Thank much. You we 